when you know that people are wrong, just shake it off. Just come on, shake it off. You know folks are wrong in their assumption, and you know people are wrong in their thought process. You cannot allow the enemy to um, have you in a state of mind to where you believe, amen, what they're saying. But see, we've got to learn how to just shake folks off, amen, and let them know that they have no control over me because of what they think. Because in this particular text, we find, amen, that these folks, they begin to think uh, that the Apostle Paul, he had to be a murderer. He had to have done something wrong. But notice, on this particular boat, there were uh, 276 people on the boat, and they were on their way to Rome, amen. Many of them, because they had done wrong, and they were on their way to prison. Yes, yes. So this is why, amen, the, uh, the pagan people believed that the Apostle Paul must have done something wrong because of the fact that he was on this boat with all these criminals. So subsequently, he must have killed somebody. He must have done something wrong. He didn't die on the sea because in those days, the ship were, were not built like they are today. Amen. A lot of ships sunk. Amen. And were destroyed because of storms because they were not well built. But the Lord, amen, allowed them to make it to this island. Amen. And when they got there, when Paul came, uh, in those days, people felt like that vengeance was the law. And they felt like you might have get, get away on this end, but after a while, it's going to catch up with you. And they felt like it was catching up with him at that particular point. When the venomous snake, amen, bit him. How do y'all know sometimes, glory to God, that when, when people are perceiving you wrong, they try to put a bite in you? Amen. Huh? Amen. They look at you wrong and they, they, they try to uh, speculate what you are, who you are, or what you're about. They put a bite in you. Sometimes it sinks in. But what the Apostle Paul realized is, amen, that this snake had no business on his hand. So all he did was shook it off. And the Bible said it went back into the fire. A lot of times the reason why, amen, we, the enemy begins to penetrate into our spirit is because of the fact we don't know when to shake it off. We allow him to sink his teeth in, into our head, into our lives, into our situations, and sink in so deeply until it begins to make us bleed. And what the devil is trying to do is literally poison us until we swell up and die. But what we got to understand is when we know that people are wrong, we got to learn how to shake it off. And if you will, make the devil take it back. Let the devil know that I'm not going to allow you, amen, to hold on to me. I'm not going to hold on to these lies that you're telling on me. I'm not going to hold on to this situation that you're trying to put me in. But when the problem comes, I'm going to learn how to, see, y'all got to learn how to identify the enemy. Learn how to, he knew, he knew when that snake came on, he didn't sit there and ponder up, oh, what am I going to do? There's a snake on my hand. What am I going to do? It's going to kill me. But all he did, the Bible said, was shook it off and kept on doing what he was doing. Sometimes you got to shake the devil off in his face and keep on doing what you're doing and say, devil, you have no control on me. I'm not going to let you poison me. Your venom is not going to get into my body. I'm not going to swell up and die. Because notice what they did after the fact that they saw the venom of snake, amen, a snake that should have killed him simply by one bite. Amen. And, and the snake, amen, what it, the venom did, it would swell you up and then it would make you literally die, fall dead. They were sitting there watching. How many of y'all know you got some folks that are standing around Wait for you to swell up. Wait for you. Huh? Sitting there looking at you. Oh, I know he can't take it. Ooh, girl, I'm waiting. I'm sitting here waiting. Because I know they're going to give up. They're going to throw in the towel. After a while, they're going to cut somebody out. After a while, you know, they're going to get a case. They're going to catch a case. After a while, you have to go with them out of jail. I know because they ain't really got what they say they got. They really ain't that same. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to get me a chair. I'm just going to sit out here. I'm going to wait and see. Uh -huh. Wait, just wait. I'll tell you, get five. Four, three, two, one. And then you gotta make the devil out of lust. Say, devil, you a liar. And you can sit there and look all you want. I ain't gonna swell up. I ain't gonna die. Keep up. You know, you know, you know, let me put it in this term. When he talking about swelling up and dying, I'm not gonna swell up and get mad at you because I'm gonna love you if you don't like me. I ain't gonna swell up and mad at you and, and, and cuss you out because I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna talk to you just like I want you to talk to me. If you don't talk to me that way, it's all right because I got the love of God. And I'm not going, you know, they used to say, I'm going to see you sweat. I'm going to see you sweat. Wow. I ain't going to sit around here, amen, and have 
let you come in and be a, 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 a one of the people in my party. No, but I'm going to hold my head up high. That's I'm going to walk with That's dignity. Amen. I'm not going to let you see me sweat. I'm not going to let you see me sitting around crying, moping and going on. Why? Amen. Because when I know people wrong, I shake them off. Amen. When I know you ain't going to tell them a lie. Because they know folks nowadays, all they want to do is hear lies. People that they come, they want to hear somebody lie. Well, for real? And it's, what we need to do is stop taking lies and traveling with them. A lot of times people tell you things, you say, oh, for real, you ain't got no evidence, you don't know what happened, but because he said it, it must be true. Because she called you on the phone, what we need to do is stop gossiping so much anyhow. Get off the telephone, excuse me, telephone. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Get off the phone, amen. And it's, 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 when folk call you, but they I love about our first lady. If you call her, amen, about some stuff, she's going to stop you and say, let's pray, baby. Let's talk to Jesus about it. Let's talk to the Lord about it. Amen. But many times what we do is just like these folk here, we want somebody to swell up and die. But I found out that when you've got the love of God in you, when you are walking with the Lord, folks, don't let nobody make you feel like you are not a God child that you are. Don't let nobody make you feel like that you're not holding on to God's unchanging hand. Don't let nobody talk down to you. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't nothing. Don't let nobody tell you you are not Christ for you. Amen. You can lay hands on the sick, 
and they shall recover. 